Let us take one next problem. This problem is something related to aldol cyclization. So if you have a two keto group in the same compound, what will happen? One carbon ion is formed and that carbon ion can attack in the same molecule. Do you remember what is the product? What is the reaction of aldol? In aldol condensation, what you do? You have two aldehyde or two ketone. From one aldehyde, you make the carbon ion and on the next, next aldehyde, you will attack. That is the aldol reaction. If you have in the same compound, you can make a carbon ion and if, if you have a ketone group, you can attack. That is the intramolecular aldol condensation. Basically, intramolecular aldol condensation is also called. Do you remember the name? We have discussed in the class. We, this is called Dickman condensation. So, intramolecular aldol condensation is also called Dickman condensation. Now, see, you have to write down the product for this reaction. This is a basically 1,4 diketone. So this is a 1, 2, 3, 4. On position number 1 and position number 4, you have a keto group. That's why this is a 1,4 diketone. If you treat with OH minus, what will be the product? You have to write down the condensation product. That is after loss of water. So what will be the product after loss of water? I will give you one minute time. And you have to draw the product. You have to write down the product. So let me wait. Okay, let me discuss the solution some of you might have done. Basically, what you will have in the first step, OH- minus will take H plus and you will generate a carbon ion here. And once this carbon ion is formed, this carbon ion will attack on this carbonyl group. This will go, oh, uh, this will open up. So, you will have something like this. Now, this O- minus in the next step, it can take H plus and it can form OH. And in the next step, it can lose water. If you lose from here, you will have a saturated, so conjugated double bond. And that's why you cannot lose water from here. I have to lose H2O from here. So hydrogen I have to lose. So if I lose hydrogen and OH, I can form a double bond here. And this double bond gets conjugated and that's why it's a stable double bond. You see, and this is a alpha beta unsaturated diketone, alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. So this is alpha, this is a beta. So you have a alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. Did you remember the aldol product is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound? So this you are getting a alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. Unsaturated carbonyl compound. Are you getting or not? So you are getting alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. So if you have understood this question, let us try this one. I will wait for one minute. You have to draw the product. Now, in this case, you have 1,5 diketone. So, this is a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You have a 1,5 diketone. And did you, did you remember we have said 6 members rings are very stable rings. So, you make a carbon ion, attack, and write down the final product. So, give, let me give you 30 seconds. Okay, if you have done, let us discuss the solution part. So you see, what will happen? First, you will generate a carbon ion. So this OH minus will take H plus, you will generate a carbon ion. And now in the next steps are easy. In the next step, this carbon ion will attack here and you just open up. So you will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 member ring. Are you able to count or not? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 member rings. Now you will have a 6 member ring. And so let me write this 6 member ring somewhere here. So or I can write here itself. So you will have a six member ring and here you will have O minus R and here also you will have R group and hydrogen. Are you getting or not? If you do protonation, you will have OH and if you do uh, dehydration, you will have a double bond here. Are you getting or not? So this is the same thing. So if you do attack and then make this compound, then do protonation and then do dehydration, you will get this compound. Are you able to understand or not? So this is a case of 1,5 diketone.
Now we have another example of the same kind of reaction that is the cyclization of aldol condensation. Now this time we have 1, 6 diketone. This neither 1, 4, neither 1, 5. So we have a 1, 6 diketone. So if you have a something like this, so let us draw this structure and write down the product. So this is 1, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 6 diketone. And I give you one hint, 7 member rings are generally not stable. So what if you make carbonyl here, and attack here you will get a seven member ring are you getting on if you make carbon ion here you attack here so one two three four five six seven seven member rings are not a stable five member rings are more stable than seven members rings generally so let us make a five member ring so i am giving you a hint you have to make a five member ring so the product is five member ring so it contains product contains a five member ring so what you will do now tell me so you can get 5 more ring only if you make carbon and here attack here 1 2 3 4 5 and then do dehydration here you will get the final product so let me show you the solution part this is an easy problem basically you see you make the carbon and here attack here open up so you will have this do had uh, take H plus protonation do dehydration so this is the final aldol condensation product in many of the re reaction first you have to do attack then do protonation then lose h2o this is the simple final product will be alpha beta unsaturated com carbonyl compound so this is alpha this is beta so this is alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound so always you will get alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound that is a product Are you getting or not? So you will get a product alpha beta unsaturated carbonyl compound. We will discuss the next problem. These are the three problems we have said about uh, aldol cyclization. Aldol cyclization in this case either you can have is this is given only by if you have a diketones and this is an intramolecular. So you make a carbon and attack on the same molecule. So cyclization will have possible only if you have a diketone. This diketone will be 1, 4 it can be 1 5 it can be 1 6 sometime it can be a 1 7 but you see you have to make a ring that will be either 5 member or 6 member or most probably 7 member and uh, 4 member things are not preferable if you get a 4 member in place of 5 member it's not preferable but if you're getting 7 member in place of 5 member once again it's not possible generally we make 6 member rings or 5 member rings so and Dickman condensation that is aldol cyclization is also called Dick Dickman condensation in aldol cyclization generally we form six member or five member rings if if these are not possible then I can form a seven member ring if these are not possible then only otherwise we will form try to form five member and six member ring we will discuss the next problem